We're here to take care of the Manapu. We're here to take care of the Manhobin. We're here to make sure that the right direction is for the people of Guam. And I'm going to tell you, it's about you, each and every one of you here. When Governor Carl Gutierrez became governor, this man addressed over 185 ambassadors of the world. He went there to speak up for our tomorrow people, folks. G-U-A-M, Guam United accomplishes more. Let's be united. Let's support Carl and Gary and the 50 Democratic senators and our candidates for Congress. Let's work together for Guam's future. Let's help our island so everybody has a good quality of life on Guam. We don't need four more years of a right direction. We need a better direction. It's not, they're helping us. It's mandated, court mandated, that our refunds have to come out. <laughs> Governor Gutierrez is running. I'm gonna give him my full support. Cause he's there to help, you know. When I went there, I needed help. It didn't take them a day, overnight. Yes, a week, but he helped me. That's what counts because he helped me. It's so natural that so many people are here tonight, whether you're Democrat, Republican, or Independent, you're here because this people movement wants to take this government back and give it back to you, for you and your family, and so that this idea of serving one corporation and one family is gonna stop. Ladies and gentlemen, this man has asked me to do it again, to come back as Attorney General and work with him because he knows he can work with me and I can work with the gentleman. And can I repeat a successful Attorney General term? Yes, I can. I will pledge to you that I will work with a Gutierrez, with a Gutierrez administration and I will pledge to you that I will work with a Democratic majority legislature to continue to do the good work that my office has been doing. To all my veterans out here, we're going to pick up the veterans in Anson's office and we're going to take it to Adamu, where it belongs. We will give back the, the people's government, back to the people, because the government should not dictate the people and, and, and protect corporations. It should protect the people and dictate corporations. The truth is life, and it will grow, and you cannot stop it. You must acknowledge it. You must acknowledge the people of Guam, and that's what Carl Gutierrez and Gary Gumatauta are doing in their candidacy for governor and lieutenant governor. They're breathing life back into the people. I stand firmly behind Carl Titanu Cruz Gutierrez and Gary F. Gumatauta. We're going to get people back to work, we're going to get them safe, and we don't need an increase in utility rates. We have enough of it. We want to represent everybody, because everybody here is part of the people of Guam. We know now, for nearly four years, what kind of leadership we have in Adanu. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. We need to elect Governor Gutierrez back to Adanu. We've now seen that this guy that, that's in there just doesn't tell the truth. Carl is, of course, a man who has come from humble beginnings. But everything about him is about the people. This campaign is going to boil down to one issue, one issue only. Which party cares for the grassroots and our people more in terms of providing services and in terms of providing funds? Leadership on this island has to reach out to the real people of Guam, and that's us. We are the real people. How can you have a surplus of $2 million when you haven't given DOE their $30 million? No, they play games with their lives. Politicians play games with their, our lives. I promise you this, that Gary and I and the senators will stay true to our platform. Thank you very much.